well, I'm going to play a song that's called Shouldn't Have Took More Than You Gave by Dave Mason. Uh, he wrote that in the early 70s. Some of these young cats, they, they got hold of some ideas and they just steered in the right direction. And uh, then others of us, uh, who I include cheapest, cheapest of sinners, you know, when the word sin, it just means you're falling short and uh, heading in the wrong direction, need to do about faith and uh, be willing to do something different, uh, to agree with what God says about a matter. And that's not always the easiest thing to do. There's something inside of ourselves. Yes, we're made the image of God, and we all want to have his attributes, and one of, them, one of them is Adam and Eve one, uh, to know more than they knew, more than they needed to know. Life's sort of a, as you need to know basis, and don't need to be all-knowing, all-powerful, all-encompassing. I think that uh, when we're dysfunctional, it means it doesn't work, whatever you're doing. How's that working out for you? We need to learn and practice some spiritual principles that I didn't even know existed. And one of them is if you go through, you're turning your life over to the care of God, you believe that He can restore you to sanity and remove. Part of the deal is you got to remove all these things that are substitutes for what God, God wants us to feel peace, joy, happiness, contentment, at ease, in his rest, that's his gift to us, but we find that doing this, doing that, whatever, being in a comfortable situation for us going to our default is working so far why change it now if it ain't broke don't fix it but a lot of these things are broke it's a, pro it's a progressive deterioration on a downward slope that inevitably keeps getting worse and worse until we can't stand it no more. We'd like to do, we have moral aspirations, buku, but we can't seem to perform that which we'd like to do. And we find ourselves somewhat double-minded. Bible speaks about that, James. And it says that a double-minded man can expect to receive nothing of God. You know, that we have to do some things consistently and purposely or it ain't going to work. You know, trying it for a week, you don't have a shower of blessings and miracles chasing you down the street, you have to plant, there's what's known as seed, time, and harvest. And if we plant enough seeds that are good, 
eventually after time, a little time, they'll start to produce the right crops in our lives. If not, we're planting a bunch of weed seeds, dandelions, we're going to end up with a bunch of dandelions. And wonder why we don't have what we wanted a Kentucky bluegrass and we got dandelion lawn. All I'm saying is, is that part of the deal is the 11th step it said we sought through prayer and meditation to improve our conscious contact with whatever God, however we understand God at the time. Not to say that we can make up any old God we'd like to and he's going to fit in there, but it's broad, groomy, and you can... We all start out at kindergarten well, and we're supposed to learn, and we're supposed to mature, and we're supposed to rule some things out. Part of what we're told, commanded, they say there's no absolutes, you know, but there is. There's truth is relative. Well, it's not relative. It's either true or false. There's a spirit of error and there's a spirit of rightness. What I wanted to get at was that we get ourselves in a position where we're able, we're not blocked off from the sunlight of the spirit by a bunch of buku that we conjured up and that we allowed our minds to just go crazy and think all kinds of erroneous thoughts that block us off from the sunlight of the spirit. And we get full of resentments, bitterness, hatred, and Jesus said if you hate a person, it's a lesser degree, but it's on the same lines of wishing to just bash their brains out as to look at them. Because they have continually caused discomfort, unsettling, lack of peace, lack of joy, the robbing of what God intended for you to have by sucking you into their bunch of the sky is falling mentality. If we're commanded that, in, in the Lord's Prayer it says, Father, forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Some point in time, we got to understand that if somebody is trying to change and they are giving you an opportunity to forgive them that we are commanded to forgive 70 times 7 if a brother offends you, sister, and they ask for your forgiveness that we're to give it to them. If not, if they don't ask, 
they don't take accountability for their part in it. Sure, most people may have had a part in it, whether it's 20, 80, 50, 50, you know, doesn't matter. There's something, usually we're the creators of our own misery in that we have allowed things to be so unsettling in ourselves that we just get carnal. And that just comes from the word carny, the Greek, where we get our chili con carne with meat. You could say a carnal person is acting like a meathead. If you ever watch Archie Bunker, look it up. I need to watch a few of them. That was a funny show. My point being is if we're offending people the offense has got to get worked out, not just fed, not just accelerated into ripping doors off hinges or getting face to face with somebody and physically intimidating people to where you can't tell whether a person is going to knock you to the ground or just break down crying and saying, I'm so sorry, I was wrong. That's the hardest thing to say. I'm sorry, I was wrong. And that needs to be said. Because if we don't keep saying, I'm sorry, we're wrong. It's in the tenth step. It says, when we were wrong, we promptly admitted it. Promptly doesn't mean a month from now, a year from now. Screw him. He's an idiot. I don't like him. And rationalize why I, I can be the way I was because... He was that way one time or ten times or whatever. That guy has died. The old man is crucified with Christ. And the new man deserves a new start. But if he keeps allowing himself to act like the old man and doesn't walk in the spirit and, and thinks they know everything and assumes a lot of stuff that's rolling around in their cranium, who are you to judge another man's servant? I separate the who from the do, and I can judge actions. I can't say, well, a dog shouldn't bark, because he's a dog. What do you expect out of a dog? going to act like a dog. Some of us need to stop acting like dogs or somebody needs to voluntarily put a muzzle on yourself and it would be nice to hear, gee, I'm sorry, I was wrong and give somebody an opportunity to forgive you instead of having to battle with resentments and righteous indignation. I love nothing more than a 
good, righteous indignation, and I can roll with that, you know. And my old man wants to take over and just say, if you want to be an asshole, I'll show you what an asshole acts like. I got a lot of practice at it. And I, I say this in an anonymous way. If it don't apply, let it fly. If it do apply, you need to comply. First of all, when they throw you in jail, oh, there he goes, off on his own trip. What's he going to say in jail? No, I'm saying when we go to jail for doing an offense and they don't give us cigarettes and matches to sit in our cell and we can't find one person that'll put up $300 to bail us out because it's time to pay the piper. Yeah, eventually it gets to that point where you can alienate yourself from everybody or just you act a way that it, it's about burning bridges. It's about disqualifying yourself from a race. If we're acting in accordance to what we're taught in that good book that nobody seems to want to spend enough time in to renew their minds and get all this horse shit out of their heads, you know, it's just oozing out of your ears. Yet you don't think putting in some good, re read, hearing, to know it all. And I, I ain't that kind of person. And I ain't, and they ain't. And you just, you, I have never seen anybody too stupid to get this. I've seen a lot of people that were too damn smart in their own eyes to get it. But if something's killing you, you ought to do something about it. If something's killing other people that you're around and you can't seem to stay in one place for more than a half a year before people get so I, I just can't take no more, you might consider that the guy in the mirror is the one that's responsible for this that I just haven't found a new batch of assholes that don't like me. Boy, am I going to catch hell for this one. But that that's the way it is. Now, if you'd like, I will play. Shouldn't have took more than you gave. You know, I had to learn this stuff, too. I just don't want other people going through something they don't have to go through. They, they can take, take somebody else's word for it. You might have 30 years more experience than they got. Yeah. <laughs> 